trapped inside of their cars, calling for help, but help could not get there in time. We are now learning more about two of the 13 deaths attributed to this winter storm so far. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer has the latest. He's in Cheektowaga tonight. David Denicky off the road on Innsbruck Drive on Tuesday night. He called for AAA but was told it would be eight hours or more. He called Cheektowaga police, but officials could not get to the stranded driver. At the time that he had called, nothing was passable down there. Um, including Union Road. Police say they received over 1,500 calls that day, hundreds of disabled vehicles, and did their best to locate stranded drivers. But Assistant Chief Jim Spire says the severity of the storm made that task physically impossible. Denicky was found dead in his car this morning. We all feel terrible sense of loss and uh, take it personal. You know, we're responsible for the safety of the community, and when it's on our watch, it's it's uh, something we take personal. Now there are still cars here on Innsbruck Drive and throughout Cheektowaga like this one, nearly completely buried under this drift and from the plow when it came through. It's an issue that Cheektowaga police say they are aware of and they're working on, but it's also something that they're very concerned about. We can only go as far as the highway department and the high lifts and the front end loaders can get us to. And we pray to God that we don't have any other cases like David. Denicky is one of 13 deaths associated with this storm and not the first to be found buried in his car. Donald Abate was found Wednesday morning in Alden in a ditch under several feet of snow. The last time I talked to him was 11 o'clock on Tuesday morning. And he said that he loved me and um, I'll talk to you soon. In both cases, AAA was called. The company releasing a statement today saying that unprecedented and dangerous weather did not allow them or emergency personnel to get to the two individuals. Reporting in Cheektowaga, Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News.